I, I have a uh, beer confirmed. officially. Spray some of the <laughs> Asian. The, I don't have to say, <laughs> the, the hair illusion. The Don Juan Grocer, my favorite bodega in New York. That's my spot. And it kind of helps that there's a Dominican bodega like two doors down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a haircut. But first, I gotta get these drinks from the bodega. All right, you guys, we just wrapped up here. I got some Arizona fruit snacks. I got this new sparkling ice starburst flavor. I got this house. All right, thanks, Poppy. Thank you. So what happens if you're feeling a little fuzzy with your hair in New York City, and you don't wanna go to one of those newfangled barbershops that cost $100 a cut? I'm sure those are great, but what if you only have like $30? Well, you gotta go to a Dominican barber. And what do you recommend? Skin fade. Low, uh, skin fade. Low skin fade to a two. Uh, can you shape his uh, beard or mustache a little bit? And because look at this, look at this guy. Look at his mustache. Yeah, I'm feeling fuzzy. I just need to get it all. You know. Up. Texturize. No, no, no. Shape, shape though. <laughs> Make his face look stronger than. Yeah, all and here. then I'll, I'll give you a skinny mustache. Okay. Right? Hell yeah, skinny mustache. Get, go get the skinny mustache, not the thick mustache, the skinny <laughs> mustache. Hey, you're Asian, right? You're mainly gonna know barbers that are cutting with scissors and keeping the hair tight. Right. Not it's not going a lot as of... low as skin or, yeah. or showing different type of different type of haircuts. For example, in Chinatown, they don't right. they don't skin it. No. No. Around here, for example, where the Lancy here, is usually like the Asian people we get, they they come here for the. For the fade or right because they cannot find it in their yeah, own community, they can't right? Find it around here. They're usually like scissor, scissor cuts, and and usually like oh, has usually Asians right. go right. like to those type of haircuts. Oh, you man. probably got like a hey, yo, uh, what what fade thing. are you giving him? I'm giving him a low, a mid drop, mid low drop fade. I'm gonna drop the fade down so that I'll keep the hair dark and up here. And you're talking about drop the back, right? Yeah, here. I'm gonna drop it back so it's not straight and then going up you know what i'm saying okay so what are you doing right now uh right now i'm going in with the one and a half one of one more guard this is I, I call this like the the detail version the detail part i call it the, the the zero half and the one and a half i call it the detail phase because this is mainly where you're gonna get the detail for the darkness of the head for me as a if i was teaching someone else i'd prefer people to work from the from the bottom up uh -huh. because there's uh, less risk of mistake. And right. if you do a mistake, you can improvise and go a little higher. But if you start out from up top and you make a, a mistake from up top, and it's a little harder to correct it because the hair up top is dark. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. You know what's really interesting is I heard that, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of Dominicans, they came to America the same time that Asians did in the 1960s, the 1970s. Sort of like, uh, you know, typical, like parents are, are immigrants and then we get born here. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we all, we, we have it, we had it the same, like, same timeline. We, yeah, and um, I feel like we all have that, that strictness. Would you say that barbershops are like kind of like a cultural hub in a Dominican community? Like you could go see people from the community, you could like ask for advice, like not just haircuts and stuff? I feel like, yeah, because Dominicans are, are known for, for their loudness and, and, and their personality, that they're always cheerful, you know what I'm saying? Extroverts, so, right? Exactly, so you're always gonna find something here. You come to a, bar, to a Dominican barbershop, you're always gonna find that loudness. Someone's watching a game on the TV, right. someone's getting a haircut, and they're being loud, arguing with their barber, right. doing this, doing, you know what People I'm saying? People on TikTok, always. Yeah, exactly, so, and there's always music, there's always this, you can, you can see the culture everywhere in here, so that's probably why it's always pulling people to us, you know what Right, I'm right, right. Like, you, you get a little slice of the DR in, inside of these shops. Yeah, exactly, and we always try to keep it that way, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here hanging my flag right there. Right. It's like, you know, we're always, like, we're, we're proud from where we it, are. And it kind of helps that there's a Dominican bodega, like, two doors down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm just parting the hair. I'm just separating his, the longer hair that he has up top, the hair on the, on the side. I'm just gonna thin this hair. I'm, I prefer to thin it out. Okay. Just so that I can um, give him more texture and keep the darkness and the lightness away from from the fade. You gotta you gotta understand. So with hair, uh, it's the way that they grow out of your head, right? So they when they grow, 
Uh, Asian hair is really, sometimes they're thick, but they're, they mainly grow out. They go straight out of the head and yeah. you guys don't have a lot of hair. Mm. Like, you guys don't have a lot of, how do I say this? Density. The follicles, the yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for, It's not as dense, but the hair exactly, is thicker, right? Right? Yeah. So, but when you go, for example, with curly hair or coarser hair, they, when they come out, they start cur curling up. And then that also, but you guys also have, which is the oily, nice, uh, healthy hair. Mm. Well, coarse hair, they lack the oil and uh, they're keeping the hair moisturized. I'm, I'm gonna fade his sideburns. He's gonna blend in with the fade after uh, I pass the blade here. I'm gonna skin all of this out and then I make it nice and light so that it flows in with the beard. You have to have a beard to flow in with he the ha rest He of has it. a beard, guys. I he have a beard, a beard uh, officially. What is this? What are you eating? Like the ice cream. Ice cream? Uh -huh. Guava ice? Uh -huh. Mamita. Mamita. They call mamita, but it's like a guava. Is it from DR? From yeah. Dominica. From Dominican Republic. Don Juan Grocer, my favorite bodega in New York. That's my spot. Most of us have baby hairs that grow around the eyelids right here. Mm. And they give like a little shadow to, to the face. But I've learned to sometimes that if you take it off, your face looks a little clear. Oh. And your, your baggy, dark eyes don't look as baggy no more. Hey guys, that's the detail work right there. Not, not everybody You wouldn't know, know that, that. If, you didn't, if you don't consistently, like, you know, cut hair. Right, right. Yeah. Hey, get rid of the peach fuzz. Yo, David, you look like a designated batter right here. <laughs> like I told you guys earlier, right? There's a, there's a, like a light baby hair shadow that grows on the face, but people don't, people can't see it. Women, like, they take it off because of their makeup, right? Oh. But us, we don't really Yeah, really for guys, wear, like, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even believe yeah. that it would make a difference. Exactly, but so there's either a shadow would barbers. Shade all around here because yeah. of the little you baby You can see hair. it on the face here, like it's way lighter than and if you look at right. So when you shave this, we're gonna see that it looks like, almost like clear. Yeah, you'll see like his skin okay. will, will clear up, you'll see. I got a beard! He got one! You're here at Moran Barbershop, Dominican Barbershop. What are you about to get? Fresh fade, five on the top, skin fade, you know what I'm saying? Right, I'm right. to look like you, though. Yeah. Yeah. I actually did have that back then, but uh, I was just too tired of it, bro. Right, right. You want, lower, you want a lower maintenance here, yeah, Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. All right, well, good luck. Right. I know you're going to look fresh. I get a uh, plate with two meats. Can I do pollo guisado? Pollo? Pollo guisado, and then can I do the ribs? My beard has never looked stronger before. Listen guys, we are just right outside Chinatown on the border actually between LES and Chinatown. You can get a haircut for 30 at the Dominican Barbershop. You can go get a bunch of Dominican food. I've got pollo guisada, I've got pork ribs, I've got rotisserie, and this was 20, all for $50 combined. But really, the haircut was like 30 to 35. I would go with 35. Listen guys, prices are going up everywhere, but I am telling you the Dominican barbershops in terms of value, they're probably the best in the city, dollar per dollar.